Oh no, you just noticed that on your favorite shirt, you've got a loose button. Gentlemen, don't ignore this problem expecting it to fix itself. There's nothing worse than going into an interview or giving a presentation and having a button pop off right before. It saps your confidence, guys, because you're wondering, are people gonna notice? This is a small detail that can be fixed easy. Now, you may be thinking that sewing isn't a masculine skill set or it's not something that men do. Guys, nothing could be further from the case. Example, John Rambo. That guy used sewing skills to patch up his own wounds when getting knocked out of a helicopter. And with that being said, gentlemen, let me teach you how to sew on a button. To sew on a button, you'll need a seam ripper, two needles, 24 inches of thread, and an extra button if you've lost the original, and a pair of scissors. To get started, you'll remove the loose button using the seam ripper, cutting the thread while being careful to avoid poking a hole in the shirt fabric. Now, if the button has fallen off or you've lost it, there should be an extra button or two sewn in on the bottom of the shirt placket on the inside that you can use. The next step is to thread your needle. You'll need approximately 24 inches of thread for a single button. Now, we're going to double thread the needle to give the best possible strength. Pull the thread through the needle, making both ends of the thread equal in length. To form a knot, wrap the thread around your index finger to form an X. Pinch the X between your index finger and thumb, then slide your index finger back, letting the thread roll forward. Bring your middle finger down in front, then pull the thread with your other hand. You will be left with a solid knot that won't come undone. Now it's time to start sewing. We're going to begin by forming an X. Starting on the back side, we're going to pass the needle through the back of the fabric to the front. You'll continue passing through the front to the back and back to the front until you've formed an X. We are now gonna use the X as a guide for sewing the button. Place the button on top of the X. Then take your second needle and place it on top of the button. The second needle will help us to form the shank, which is a bit of thread under the button that will make it more secure and easier to fasten. Now let's sew on the button. You're going to use the exact same pattern that you used to form the X. Pass through the back of the fabric, going through the first buttonhole. Pass over the second needle and go through the second buttonhole. You will need to hold the button and second needle in place with your fingers for the first few passes, but after that, it should be held in place by the thread. Continue going front to back, back to front, through all the buttonholes. You will go through all the buttonholes approximately six times. Pull the needle through the back of the fabric. Once that is done, you can now remove the spacer needle as it's time to form the shank. Now wrap it around the thread under the button, going around six complete times. After that is done, you'll pull the needle through the fabric again to the back side. It's time to finish up by creating a couple of knots to secure the thread. Pull the needle through the threads in the back and then pull it through the loop you just formed to create a knot. Do this a few times and you'll be good to go. Use your scissors to cut off any excess thread. Make sure when sewing that you pull the thread through completely nice and tight. Otherwise, you'll end up having loose threads that just look sloppy. Congratulations, gentlemen. Now you know how to sew on a button. Pro tip, if you're on the road and you have a loose button or you just simply need a sewing kit, make sure to ask the hotel for their emergency sewing kit. I find most hotels have these for free and boom, right there, you've got the tools that you need to get the job done. For a step-by-step -step article on how to sew on a button, check out realmenrealstyle.com. Now be sure to sign up for email notifications. That way you can watch my videos when they first come out. Now, sometimes I offer exclusive deals that are time sensitive. So make sure that you never miss out on one by being part of the early notification squad.